We're going to look at a variety of insurances here today, from health insurance to car to renters and homeowners insurance. So let's get going. First of all, why is insurance important? You have to think that should you protect yourself from the worst, uh, you think you're ever not going to be healthy. And usually, when you're your age and a teenager in high school, you're thinking you're very healthy and nothing's going to happen wrong to you. But for example, the highest incidence of injuries come uh, from driving a car when you're a teenager and into your early 20s, hence car insurance is so expensive through 25 years old. So that's a good reason to do it. Uh, if you don't do it, something catastrophic happens, you could be in debt for years. You also want to protect yourself against a fire in your house or someone stealing things or getting a car accident even if you don't cause it. So for car insurance, collision is anything that you've collided into. Anything you've collided into. Or rollovers when your car has been an accident, no other people. Comprehensive is everything else. Tree falls on it, lightning hits it. Uh, a baseball, I saw a baseball once hit a car in a game. That's comprehensive. Liability is going to be, uh, as you can see, to pay for other people's cars or their medical but not your medical. Your medical is going to come under your personal injury and of course you do have to pay for it if someone else isn't, uh, doesn't have insurance. Somebody has to pay. So think about it. Jose was driving to Streamwood High School as he was turning to school he was rear-ended so that would be back into collision. Jose's head hit the steering wheel and he was transferred by ambulance. That goes into personal injury. Now, if the other person had been hurt, it would go into liability. Okay, what kind of insurance? Uh, she, Kathy's leaving the hot dog. She's backed into. That goes into collision. Okay, Matthew's fishing at Fox River. His car is unattended. Someone stole it. Stole the hubcaps so that we go to comprehensive. Okay. You guys are more likely to be renting than you are to own, but there is homeowner's insurance should something, the fire or some kind of damage that you can think of, wind, uh, hail. But you also need to think about what to protecting your things, maybe not right away when you're in college or something, but when you have afterwards. And even in college, you do have your computers to think about. Uh, you need to think if if someone's in your apartment and something happens to them, they'd be medical, or or what if you accidentally oof, damage an apartment beyond your what's known as your security deposit, and again I said computer or maybe girls who have rings or things like that. Okay, there is a deductible for renters insurance for car insurance, and that means that whatever it is, two fifty, five hundred, the higher deductible, the lower insurance costs on a monthly basis. So 250 would be low, meaning you're pay, paying higher. So if you're, let's say, the computer's several years old and it's only valued at $750 or even worse, $500, and your deductible is 250 the question you have to think of, is it worth it to report it? Because if you get a couple reports in a year or in a short duration, a couple of years, your insurance is going to go up. De uh, and actually, if you get three, usually three car problems in two years, they just kick you off. I remember the, the t they need to make money too. So obviously a $2,000 stereo and a $900 uh, uh, TV, if they were taken, that would be worth getting the uh, pay, the 250 and having the rest pay for by insurance. I think the question is, is your insurance going to go up less than you're going to have to pay or more than you're going to have to pay? Okay, uh, so you can read that one and do it on your own. Um, and you got a couple scenarios. For example, we host a Halloween party the next day. You realize his iPad's going and it's MP3. Well, that's much more than the 250 and probably less than the price of the insurance would go up. So it'd be worth it to to claim it. Okay, floaters and riders. Uh, just in terms of if you have expensive things, and this would even be in your homeowner's insurance, for example. You can see the list there. My wife, for example, we have her wedding band insured 
between bands. Okay, and then health uh, coverage. I think you should always have health insurance, but not all employers have covered in the past. Walmart is traditionally known for even fully employed in the first several months not doing it. Uh, Obamacare, which is extension of Medicaid, is requiring more people to get it. Uh, more people who have chosen not to be covered because they work part-time or they're seasonal. And now that a lot of them are going to be uh, fined if they don't pay it. Uh, also, pre-existing conditions. This is something the Clinton administration started. This is, means that a lot of people used to not, they might not like their job, but they couldn't leave it because they had cancer or some other big illness. So now you can port your, uh, can go to another job. Uh, you can go to another job from the one you have, and even if you have a significant problem. Uh, and obviously, again, you want to look at the cost of health insurance when you guys get jobs. It's not just the tag of how much you're making that's so important. It's how much are you going to pay for the insurance. For example, I pay a lot less insurance for my family than someone who is working on their own. <coughs> okay, so these are the things you learned, and you can stop the video and, and go through that. And we're done.